Depends how you want to play it. When Obama likes a cut, he says, if you don't do it, it's tax increase. If he doesn't, like in the Bush cuts, he says, oh, you don't want to preserve these cuts for the rich and those who don't deserve it. Look, it's a phony as a job creator in the first place. Uh, it's a, it's a, a tax holiday. If it were a tax cut, it might have an effect on employer. There's no employer who's going to hire somebody because he gets a one-year holiday uh, of a slight decrease in the payroll tax. What it is is putting $1,000 in the pocket of a middle-class worker, which is what McGovern had offered in the year uh, 1972. He offered to send everybody a check for $1,000. He was laughed out of town. And today it passes as wise economic policy. But on the issue of the offsetting cuts that Republicans are offering, it isn't only cynically chosen. All of them come out of the president's own deficit reduction commission. The simpson Bowles Commission, and today is the one-year anniversary of that commission's report. But the point is that it's not cynically poll-tested. It's exactly what the president's own commission had said, is where you want to start when you want to cut spending. And it, I mean, the spending today is 25 per, per percent of the economy, the highest by a huge margin in memory. And the administration cannot accept any cuts anywhere and always offers as an alternative a hike in taxes. And then as a talking point, it's only a matter of a, poly, of, of, of a talking point that it can use in the election to say the, the Republicans are protecting the rich. It is not a serious offer.